Hey, this is Lane. Um, I just did an interview with Prosper. Good stuff, good conversation. And we talked about the um, really the nuts and bolts of how digital marketing and how digital agencies work. It's not the typical or just not, not the typical marketing stuff, but really dig into the ins and outs of doing good work and managing client and making sure you're set up for success. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Prosperity Online Show. And today we've got none other than Ling. Ling, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? Very well, thanks. Now, Ling, just tell us where are you calling us from in the world right now? New York, New York. <laughs> Great stuff. Okay, so obviously um, you will have seen the show notes there, but Ling has special superpowers that she helps people to nail their message, master their guts, and also monetize their truth. Right, and she's got a really big speciality in the project management aspect of a digital agency. So Lin, tell us a little bit about yourself there. So right now I do, as an individual consultant, I do, pro I do um, content strategy, content marketing consultation, and copywriting um, for, well, for two, for my private clients who are mostly coaches, consultants, solopreneurs, service professionals, and small businesses. And I also do consulting work and writing work for um, marketing agencies and some SaaS companies. So that's now. But before I go into all these, you know, on my own thing, I was, um, I was a project manager in digital marketing agency. So 19 years of that, so I would say I do know a thing or two about you know, project management and marketing in the larger corporate digital space. Um, worked with um, P&G and Kraft Foods and all the other big brands. And um, really what I would say from getting from my experience and bringing to the table for my clients today is um, I give them a sort of a holistic view of a um, of the digital marketing process, or let's say what's happening when you actually go in and do the thing. So even when we're doing a piece of content or a piece of copy, it's not just that. It is the consideration of the strategy, the user experience, and all the way to expressing all these through visual design and the actual build of the website. Great stuff. You mentioned quite a few points that I, I want to dwell on just a little bit so that we uh, see how this is going to work. So you mentioned that you work with coaches and consultants. How important is it to actually know your market? Absolutely, um, because in digital marketing, there's so many platforms, right? You have, you cannot be everywhere, like unless I mean, your giant brands like Coca-Cola or Nike, you have the resources and and a team to be everywhere. You need to know where your people are hanging out and in what platform you can create a meaningful conversation. Great stuff. Yeah, because I see a lot of people trying to be everywhere, but they end up being mediocre. Um, mm -hmm. What sort of, yes, what sort of advice would you give to somebody who's just starting, maybe wanting to get into digital marketing or they are starting an agency? Where do you want them to base their energy mostly? If they're starting a, you know, starting to get into digital marketing, I think it's really important to understand the customer journey because that would really help you understand who you are talking to, what they need to hear at the moment, and how to deliver the message to have the biggest impact. And, and, and this is really, you know, from a content marketing and an inbound marketing perspective, that's really an essential component of understanding who you're who you're talking to and how you can relate to them, right? This is what marketing is about. It's a communication. Great stuff. Obviously, customer journey is important and utilizing all these tools. So your role that you had a lot as a project manager, if a client came into the agency, um, walk us through what you would do from start maybe to finish and what sort of jobs you would do to make sure that that client was satisfied because these guys that are watching, 
are people that are going to be either plugging into somebody's agency or starting their agency. They want to know the processes that normally happen when a client comes in mm. and how to then deal with that client. Right. Um, so I think the very first thing is before you even sign the client, make sure that it's a good fit. <laughs> yes. Right? You do not want client from hell. Like I know a lot of people starting out, you're like, any breathing body that walks through the door is a client. But if, and, and especially if you're running a team, if you get a client from hell, not only you, is gonna, you are going to be miserable. You are going to wear down your team to the point where you don't get good people working for you anymore. And that is that has a long term impact on your business, not just like you know this client, this deliverable. So you want to make sure that the client is, you know, is decent <laughs> as a person. That's, that's important too, especially if it's like you know smaller, um, say small business owners that you are dealing with the business owner himself or herself. These, I mean. I love them, but they can get a little bit micromanaging, over-controlling. So there is a education component to it, to educate the client, like this is your role and this is my role. Set a very clear expectation. For example, like when you imagine a project, you are promising a timeline. Right. But you also have to say that the client has to give you all the assets and all the feedback with, you know, by a certain date in order for you to meet that deadline. Otherwise, you book all your team and you're holding the bag. And then the client come around and say, where's my stuff? Not right. knowing that they haven't delivered that they, you know, their side of the bargain, right? So that's really important to educate the client about your process. Why? And, and it's, I also think that by educating the client on your process, they can appreciate what goes into it. And that's very important to communicate the value that you deliver, not just the deliverable. If you, if you want them to come back, right, it's like the thought that you put into the work, the work that you put into the deliverable needs to be acknowledged in order to, for them to see, you know, I mean, especially if you're saying like copywriting, right? Yes. You deliver a headline, 10 words, and you're billing how many hours? So, right? So I think, you know, at that, in, in that kind of example, if you show some sort of a process documentation that may help them appreciate the process so that it's not just saying like, wait, you have, you're charging me how much for 10 words? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I, I, I usually have that a lot with the clients. Um, they don't understand the whole process, especially when you start using tools like um, Hootsuite or other, you know, automated tools, then um, you get clients saying, oh, so that means I now have to pay you less because you're automating this, right? <laughs> Someone still has to type in that thing. <laughs> Someone has still have to write that copy. Like right. the copy doesn't write itself. <laughs> Great stuff. Now that we've mentioned a few uh, tools and writing and everything else, is there any tools that you can recommend that people should, you know, or tools that you cannot live without that uh, maybe on your phone or your computer that help you run your business? Mm, for myself, I mean, I am a, a one-person thing because I just love working with clients one-on-one and on a more intimate kind of level. And I, you know, my other writing stuff, you know, send me the work and I write. So if there's not a whole lot of managing going on. But um, in terms of your, in terms of running a sort of a team, um, especially in today's gate economy, where I think most people would be working with um, remote workers or remote employees. I, I mean, I, I am somewhat, a, I, I, do, I work remotely with, a, with an agency. I help them with a little bit of project management consultation. So in that context, a good project management software will be really important, right? And make sure that everybody is, is on board it. Don't have those emails with like, you know, 10 people CC'd on it and then just keep rolling. You know those emails? And then at the end, nobody reads them anymore. So, <laughs> Don't be that guy. Uh, so create a system so that people can stay, you know, stay current on the project but without getting swamped in email. Um, it's kind of like the boy who cries wolf, right? 
when an important email comes in, it will get ignored. Right. <laughs> so, um, so that I, I think that's important, and I, I know a lot of um, smaller teams use Asana, which is a free tool, which is great. And um, you know, um, if you're more, if you need something more, more robust, or even have a client-facing type of um, functionality, um, you know, you go to the Gold Standard Basecamp. That right. you know, nobody goes wrong with Basecamp, um, and then. Personally, I like to use Trello. Trello, yes, I was gonna mention Trello, yeah. Yeah, that's like, I'm like, oh my god, now my to-do list is actually manageable. <laughs> and um, if you have a team, it's also great for brainstorming. Right. It's kind of like the whiteboard and sticky equivalent for remote team. Well, these days where you have Messenger, you have uh, Facebook work, you have groups, um, you have uh, Twitter, you have Instagram, you know, people start sending messages everywhere and <laughs> you try to find out where the conversation is now and, I you know, know, bring it back together. So, well, exactly. honestly, the, 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 the audience that we're dealing with is people that really want to start, grow and scale their own digital marketing agency. What sort of advice would you give somebody who has been thinking and they're sitting on the fence? and um they just want to they're just not sure what to do now what would you tell them is it hard is it difficult should they you know go back to what they know or should they just keep working what sort of advice would you give somebody like that how would you really know what you know first like it, it's kind of like you don't know what you don't know and yeah. definitely get help in areas that you don't know um, digital marketing is getting more and more complex and it's not just about, you know, knowing a few keyword tools and say, you know, SEO kind of thing. Um, so get educated and really say, you know, pick and, and even pick a specialty. Digital marketing is it's like so big, right? Are you doing social media even within social media? Like, you know, you can, uh, there's an agency that is very successful, only do LinkedIn outreach for clients and that's all they do. So pick something that you know and or at least you have a good understanding of, you know, or you have success in, right? And start from there because digital marketing is huge. And when you say digital marketing, it's like you, 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 you need like a hundred team of hundred or 200 people to cover everything. <laughs> and, and if you start selling digital marketing with a team of five people and try to do everything because you call yourself digital marketing, you're not going to get, I mean, you're just not going to deliver in right. a way that can set you up for success. You've been so successful in your business. You probably have things that you um, have, maybe cheat sheets or ebooks or a blog that we can send people to come and check out so they can learn a little bit more from the experts. Um, how can people get a hold of you, Ling? My website is um, business-soulwork.com. Um, and if you want to get my um, website copy alchemy training video, it is business-soulwork.com free-alchemy. Ling, it's been an absolute pleasure. All right. Absolutely. And I, Thanks for having me. I really, really thank you for taking your time. I know we had to step you from your busy uh, day, but thank you so much for this. Um, and, yeah. Um, do you have any, any last words for us? No, I'm just glad to be here and glad to share what I, you know, what I know. Um, don't really expect to whip up my project management um, background in the conversation, but um, it does help. And, uh, and it actually really, what, um, what I find to be interesting is it, um, what I really appreciate about this background is the holistic view of the entire um, digital marketing and the campaign creation process. And it really shines a light on, you know, even if you if you specialize in one thing, it really helps to be educated on how all the pieces fall together. Um, because when you talk about digital, it is really about creating an experience. And if you don't know how all the pieces fit together, you cannot create a cohesive user experience that distinguish your brand from other brands. Great stuff. So from what I hear, just make sure that your copy is good. 
you know, your message is out there probably, you know, everything is coherent and a lot of experience in trying out all these things and making sure that you, you're present and delivering a, 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 a positive outcome for your clients, right? Well, absolutely. Um, do good work. That's, um, at the end of the day, that's my thing of really telling people, if you don't do good work, like no marketing can save the day. On behalf of uh, us here at the Prosperity Online TV show, I'd like to thank you so much, Lee. And all the links to the Alchemy video will be in the show notes. And also, if you haven't grabbed your copy of the 20 Steps to Starting Your Own Six-Figure Digital Marketing Agency, make sure you do that. It will be in the show notes today. Uh, Lee, thank you so much. Right? Thank you. It's all good. Good to be here. Right. Bye for now.